Okay, this is part four of my tutorial, and this is the part on adding a belt. I suppose it won't be like a belt belt, it'll just be um, like a sort of belted dress. It could be a ribbon or something, but for the purposes of this, it's going to be glitter. Um, you want to pick a color for your belt. I don't think... It doesn't really matter. Just whatever color you want to use. Whatever you think will go with your dress. I don't know how this will look, but we'll use it anyway. So, just like you did with your dress, you're going to shape your belt. I'm going to make it sort of a thick belt. We're going to do this all the same way. You're going to add a new layer, fill it, use the magic wand, go back down to your belt layer, select outside, select your new layer, edit and cut, and then you'll merge it down. Now, since I want to make this a glittery belt, we're going to go to noise and add. As you can see, it makes it look glittery. Um, of course at this magnification it looks kind of funny but it'll look more like glitter when we get it down. Um, color saturation, if you want it to be like rainbow colored, this is what you would use. Um, I don't want it to look that way, I just want it to be one color of glitter. The intensity, um, you know, changes how, just how sharply the glitter looks. You know, it can look really, really glitter, or take it down lower, um, something like this if you just want to make it sort of textured. I'm going to go somewhere around here because I want it to really look like glitter. And then, of course, you can change the coverage too and it'll space out the glittery parts. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. And go. I'm going to add a new layer. Belt shading. For this I usually just use a paintbrush and make it like a 6. And I'm going to pick the blackest black again and I'm going to shade the belt. And effects, blurs, Gaussian blur. I want it to be a 3. Use the wand to select outside your belt and cut out the extra part of the shading. And then you want to change the opacity so it looks like it's just shaded. Um, and I'm going to add a little highlight so it looks like the light is hitting the belt and making it brighter. So belt, highlight. And I'm going to use my brush again. Um, I think a 6 will be okay. And I'm going to pick the white color and just make a little bit of a highlight. Effects, blurs, the Gaussian blur. Um, can always make, I usually make my highlights a little higher. And then go back down to your belt, select outside using the magic wand, click on the highlight layer, edit, and cut. And we'll get back down to regular size so you can see it. Um, it looks a little too much. So I'll lower the opacity. Kind of like that. That looks a little more realistic. And then we will add a an outline to this layer too. Uh, brush size of one. Follow this. I think my color needs to be a little bit darker. Like that. You're just going to outline your belt the same way you did your dress.
And now you can see, ta-da, she's got a little glittered belt. This really isn't a very good edit, but I really just want you to learn the effects of how I do it, or the technique behind it. So you want to start with the layer above your belt, and start merging down until it's just one layer. And then merge it onto your dress, and now you've got your dress and your belt. And I will do one final tutorial in this series so that people can see how I do my sort of tooled look. And that will be next.